March report. Um, I am starting to open up the shed and use it more because the weather's been kind. Um, although it got up to about 16 yesterday and we've only managed 14 today so the forecast is for it to get a bit more typical <coughs> over the next week or so so I might not be down here as much as I would I would hope but anyway. <coughs> so um, this month's scroll saw project is um, uh, kind of the, the start of a, a short series for kind of kitchen organisation. Um, it's actually filmed in September I think. Um, I, I've made a couple of units, a li a little units for um, storage in the kitchen. So it's a really simple little project. Um, making a little kitchen drawer unit for um, our medications and things. <coughs> so that's the first of two parts. The next part obviously next month. Um, dragon food this month is a variation on a um, simple flatbread pizza. It's similar to the recipe that Barry Lewis from Virgin Kitchen did <coughs> but instead of being a kind of puffed up base it's a thin crispy base. <coughs> um, a three minute skill oh, isn't three minutes. <laughs> um, it's not particularly a skill. Um, it's a kind of redux of Roman blinds. I, I did a video on Roman blinds about this time last year actually. Um, but I was having problems with the camera because I left the camera on um, time lapse. So I, all the de details I was giving were missed and I tried to do it as a voiceover and say which didn't really work. So I'm actually doing it from, from scratch again. <clears throat> the project for the end of the month, depending on whether or not I finished it, <laughs> is hopefully a um, bead curtain for the shed door. Um, I'm about halfway through actually finishing the beads so I don't know if I'll have the time this month to actually get it finished. If not then it may well be a micarta project instead so <coughs> either option there is doable. <coughs> and the soap of the month for March is um, Earl Grey and Lemon. I think I was calling it high tea. So um, that I've, I've literally just just um, demolded. So I know it's ready to go. <laughs> so I'm just going to edit the video, um, <clears throat> and that's my big news. Um, a friend of mine who works in um, a sound equipment supplies warehouse has uh, donated um, an old used computer, so I can upgrade my kind of my notepad computer to an actual box with a decent amount of memory. So that's at least the plan for the near future is for my videos to be done on that. Um, that video is, or that video, that, that machine is not going to have an internet connection. So I'm currently looking for a decent price on editing software that I can get um, offline and update offline. Uh, if that becomes a bit too expensive for an option, I might see if I can just download something like Shotcut, which is what I'm using presently onto a memory stick and then transfer that over. I'm not sure if that's going to work because Shotcut needs to be updated but if I need to do that for an update every I don't know every couple of months then that's doable but it's going to take some time. <coughs> but hopefully that will improve uh, videos from now on. <laughs> that being said I have um, filmed and edited most of the videos for the next couple of months so, <laughs> so you won't see any difference until probably the summer anyway. So I'm, as I said earlier, I'm, I'm back in the shed, at least for a short period. I've got the heating on at the minute because 14 degrees or 13 degrees isn't that pleasant to sit in. <clears throat> but I don't want to be wearing lots and lots of layers in the shed because um, they just get in the way of what I'm doing. And um, I'll just show you what the, the current project or current obsession is. It's not even an obsession. I've only been doing it for three hours. So um, you probably won't be able to see exactly what it is, um, but it involves a sticky pad with a pull-off sheet and a whole load of little plastic crystals. <laughs> um, it, it seems to be the fashion. It's something I've been getting lots of links to and things through um, Facebook and whatever. So I thought, what the hell, I'll buy myself a kit and make one and see how I feel. Um, as it goes three hours in and I've done that much, 
and I am sick of it. <laughs> Absolutely sick of it. It's small and fiddly and frustrating. Um, it's supposed to be satisfying, but I haven't found that bit yet. Um, so we shall see. It's, it's going to take me a good couple of days to do, even if I'm only doing um, an hour or so at a time, so I don't get too frustrated and and um, niffed, niffed off with it. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of a project to be going on with. Um, and I've got to decide what I'm going to do with this thing when I'm finished. So I'm debating. I don't really want to frame it because I'm not really a framed picture kind of person. Um, but possibly using it as the um, top of a box. I've got some nice big um, pine uh, boxes somewhere. So I think that might be an ideal kind of topping for a box, but I need to sort out the frame and some sort of coating, possibly resin, to kind of protect the surface. So that's something to think about whilst I'm sticking down a couple of thousand, well, a couple of million individual crystally things. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm doing whilst I'm thinking about other projects. So I've got uh, eight or ten other things on the go. Um, uh, sitting over there I've got my new table saw and new scroll saw that I got for Christmas. Uh, I can't yet unpack them <laughs> because I've also got a large um, wooden unit sitting over there that needs to be dismantled and I can't do that until the weather improves and get it onto the grass so I can take it apart. So it's all waiting on English weather to be nice, that kind of thing. So yeah, it's not great at the minute, but I've got lots of plans for the wood that's come that I've got there that's actually that was a freebie. I didn't dumpster dive. I, I noticed it on the on the um, end of someone's drive. I actually knocked on the door and asked them if I could take it. So I was completely polite about it and she was really happy for me to take it. So I had to struggle all the way up the road with it. <laughs> Looking like an old bag lady. But that's kind of part of the course. So yeah, um, I'm continuing on with the insanity of this thing. And uh, there will be more projects as we go. As I've said, most of my videos for the next couple of months are already ready to go so pretty much anything that's coming up that I'm doing now you're not going to see until the summer so yeah I'm also working on a large project to do with some very small dolls um, and looking forward to our trip to Canada which hopefully will be in August so that's normally when I kind of shut down the shed anyway, but I'm intending to do a Canada themed soap for the end of the month and maybe even do a kind of holiday video as well. It depends if I have the time and inclination to start recording when I'm over there on my holobobs. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all the report I've got at the minute. This place is still a tip, but it's always been a tip and every time I, st I start to tidy I find something else to do and get distracted. And <laughs> So yeah, um, perhaps in the summer when I'm doing more than just a couple of hours down here I'll actually have a good clear out because I really do need to to, to think about what I'm going to be doing because a lot of these bits and pieces I've collected that I will probably never use and probably could do with going on eBay or something. So that's something to think about for the summer, yay! So um, uh, teacher training, my application is in. Um, I've had the confirmation that it's gone through. Um, so. <laughs> it's in there cool. I'll let you know uh, when I get interview dates and that kind of thing but that's all I've got in terms of news um, and I'll see you on Wednesday for a nice little draw unit yeah nice little bit of scroll saw <laughs> only a little bit at the beginning and then mostly gluing stuff together so yeah I'll see you again on Wednesday